Beatle out there? Just what's the reaction to, to seeing him out there? He's great. He looks, uh, you know, he looks looks great, and uh, it's great to have him back out there. Like, you know, he looks um, like he had a lot of fun out there today, and uh, it was nice to have him back. Can you tell us anything about, you know, when did you find out that this was a possibility? Because I know initially you guys had said out for the season, and then this comes as a bit of a, a pleasant surprise. So yeah. Well, I mean, it has been a good chunk of the season, you yeah. know, and so um, it's – He's at a point where he's been training, and he's you know he's now back and able to come back and join us. Uh, and like I said, he looks good out there. So there's no timetable on Phil at all. We're not going to rush him back. And uh, whenever, whenever he feels and the eyes on him feel and the powers that be feel that he's in a good spot, that's that's a different story. But right now, there's absolutely no timetable. So again, understanding this is. A, a different situation. You you said in the past though, when players are coming back, once they're cleared, they're an option to play. Yeah. And if you don't play them, they're scratched. Yeah. You, you, this is this is no. This is a little bit different. I think just because um, this player is coming back from something that's substantial, he has not been on the ice with us, and we want to make sure that he is uh, fit and ready to play and ready to. Have a positive impact in the game, so um, you know the fact that he's back doesn't necessarily mean he's ready for a game. Is this yeah, you, you have him in a, in a regular college jersey, right? Yeah, I mean he's ready to he's ready to practice, but it, like I said, there's no timetable on this. He's been out for an extended period of time. You guys know that. So, is this something though that you feel like can can energize a team, even just at the prospect of the fact that he could? He's a, back? you know, again without having any idea when that might be at all. Yeah. Um, the, the fact that he's back, he's a very good player for us. And it gives us, uh, I think, more depth and more options. But um, you know, you're talking one of our top rated players with the possibility of coming back at some point. Just from what you've seen him go through, like kind of the human element yeah. of all this, I mean, can you talk about what that's been like? He'd probably talk better about that than me. Um, you know, we're. You know, I know that when players are out, they they go through a process to try and work their way back. And um, you know, when they get back, is there's been a long road behind them, and I think they're happy to go out and enjoy just a, a day like today, where you get to be out with your teammates and compete, and you know, you feel good about it, and, and that's where he's at. The the D pairs, you've been so consistent with them all season. Yeah. I know you've talked about liking what you saw from Miller and Schneider when they were together when Trubel was out. Looked like that's what we saw today. So just curious about you know what the thought process is at this stage to maybe go back to that. Um, again, it's practice. It's practice right now. So we're just we're looking at things and we're still making lineup decisions with regard to tomorrow, including the D and and personnel. But is it some? It looks like at least something you're considering. Um, I think every once in a while, I mean, Kreider and Savannah Jad have been together for a very long time, but there's been the odd time when Kreider has moved away from Mika just to get it a different feel and a different look. Um, again, I don't, I'm not, I don't know that any direction that we're moving, but um, you know, we practiced a different way today just to look at it. What are you expecting from the Islanders tomorrow, just after the last meeting? I don't even think that factors into it. They're, they're, they're looking for two points. I guarantee you and promise you we're looking for two points as we were the other night. Um, I know it's because of that it could be a, a, a good game, a competitive game, a spirited game. It's two New York teams and so there's more that goes into it but at the end of the day we, sh we would like to pull those two points our way and I know I'm pretty sure if you ask them they would like to pull them their way and that should make it a good game. Feel like it would mean to this team to win the division, win the conference, or win yeah. the I've stayed away from all of that. I know you have. I'm going to continue to stay away from all of that um, because because at the end of the day, we leave a game last night where we left two points on the table, and we don't feel good about the way we played, and that's not where we want to be. Where we want to be is tomorrow, having a, a good game, a competitive game, walking away from that game knowing that we did the right things and played the right way and that the two points came with us. And if that's the focus, like I said, whatever else happens, happens. Just one more on the D pairs, if you don't mind. Uh, the, you, know, you look at last night, like Truba and Miller on, 
on ice for a few goals against. And I know that there's a lot more to it, the rush and, and the forwards and the back check and the turnovers and, yeah. and all that factors yeah, into it. Is. Um but, you know, I'm just curious what, what you've made of them, especially since Truba has been back. Like how would you analyze what you've seen from that pair in particular? Um sometimes it goes to the game. To be if I'm being honest, it goes to the game. I thought everybody was really good in the in the two periods, the second two periods of the Islander game at Long Island. I thought that we were all off the mark. Same thing I said that last night when you asked, somebody asked a question. I said, it's hard to really get a good evaluation. It just wasn't, wasn't our day. It wasn't our game. And we got to fix that. That's on us. We own that. Now we got to fix it tomorrow. Um, and so I think that there's been, there's been really good moments. We've won a lot of games. We've won, won a lot of games with the pairs the way that they are as well. And so and, I think, again, just going into practice, we just wanted to take a look at something different. Thank you, guys.